everybody, this is Sarah. Welcome back. This is day 11 of the 25 days of Poppin' Cookin'. Let's see what we'll be making today. I still have quite a few sets left to make. Let's try this one. Oh, yummy! We're gonna be making three different kinds of desserts. I believe this is a strawberry flavored Poppin' Cookin'. It looks really yummy. A few of you guys have asked me where I've purchased these pop and cook and sets. A lot of them I got from Amazon.com and then the rest of them I got from this site called Modes For You. I'll put the link for that shop in the description down below and I was really happy with them because they ship these super super fast. The shop is located all the way in Japan and it took less than a week for all the pop and cook and sets to arrive here in the US. So inside this adorable dessert set you get a plastic tray, a plastic pastry bag, one blue packet, one pink packet, a bag of sprinkles, a pie crust wafer, two cookie wafers, two crispy ice cream cones, and a mixing spoon. In addition, you will also need some water. The first step in this set is to cut off this little triangle piece. This is for your water. Open up the blue packet and pour it into one of the sides of the plastic tray. Open up the pink packet and pour that into the other side of the plastic tray. Add one scoop of water to each side of the tray. Give each side a little mixy mixy. So it's time for some mixy mixy shout outs. This mixy mixy goes out to Watch Nana Strink 12, Red and Black Heart 16, and I hope I'm saying this right, Gay Lillian 342, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Katniss 7 Divergent 12, Thalia Dunn, HIMGRL 90, Tata Karen from Indonesia, Just Being Ashley from Canada, Hazel Brosas, L. Rose, Ankita Patel, Jim Davids, Dorothy Nguyen, Hugsy Bugsy, and Makya Barnes. Thank you guys. Now I'm going to put both of my pink and white mixtures into the pastry bag. To make a really cool swirly effect between the two colors, you're going to put the pink on one side of the pastry bag and the white on the other side of the pastry bag. The instructions make this look a lot easier than actually doing it yourself. I hope this is going to be divided enough. Now I'm going to push it down all the way towards the tip of the bag. Cut off the little tip. And now we're ready to start piping. First, I'm gonna try making my little ice cream cones. Hmm, not too bad for my first one, although the ice cream in comparison to the cone looks a little small. Let's see if I can get a better one this second time around. Ooh, this one came out a lot better. You can definitely see the pink and the white. Next, I'm gonna make the little pastry cake. So I'll grab one of my wafer cookies and divide it into four pieces. Three of them should be square or almost square. And then you're left with a little tiny rectangle piece on one end. Not exactly what's on the box, but we'll make it work. Now I'm gonna pipe the little cookie squares.
so cute. The last step is to add a few little sprinkles on top. Perfect. Now on to the third and final dessert. I don't think that was quite enough, so I'll add another layer. some sprinkles and a little rectangle wafer piece on the side and voila it's done and here are my completed desserts so cute all right guys now it's time for the taste test I think I'll try the little ice cream cone first it smells great it smells like strawberry and vanilla It is good. It has a texture of like a mousse. Mm. The cone is quite good. I have to give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna try the next dessert. The next dessert I'm gonna try is this little wafer cake with the sprinkles on top. It looks like it's gonna be delicious. It was good, but maybe just a little bit too much of that cream stuff kind of overwhelming. Now I'm going to try this adorable little dessert. It's good. It's not too sweet. I do like the sprinkles on top and I do like the container that it's in. It adds a nice little crunch. Well guys, I have to give this set a thumbs up. It was pretty easy to make and the taste was pretty good too. Well, thank you guys so much for watching day 11 of the 25 days of pop and cooking. Tune in tomorrow for day number 12. See you guys tomorrow.